We're in Snyder Plaza, Bicycles Plus, one of the most amazing bicycle stores I've ever witnessed, and absolutely probably the most amazing bicycle store in the city of Dallas, and they've got three or four other locations, and we've got the pleasure of being with Craig Peterson, who is the general manager of this entire enterprise. Craig, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Doing great, thank you. Tell us, what do you try to do here at Bicycles Plus? Bicycles Plus, we try to cover a very broad spectrum of rider, basically. And what I mean by saying that is we try to have bikes that will facilitate the needs of your neighborhood rider, you know, the, the family rider that wants to go around and just, you know, spend some time with the family, uh, all the way through your very competitive rider. So the riders that might race uh, and or, you know, live a very cycling specific style of lifestyle. So we try to you know, facilitate the needs of the entire range. God, you have so many bicycles in here, Craig. It's, it's just amazing. It, I, it looks like you have a thousand. I can't believe you'd have that many, but it's just amazing how many bicycles you have. And even you have bicycles, it looks like for somebody that comes out of the crib. Absolutely we do. It starts right about two years old as far as the way that our bike's going to fit um, and then can range all the way through, you know, your you know, your rider that's in the senior years of his life, depending on, you know, how much they want to continue to try to ride. So it's pretty fun from that standpoint. And the amazing thing, too, is that you've got so many different parts to the bicycles that people can come in and buy. You've got so many accessories. Tell us a little bit about that part of the business. You know, that's the one thing that, that is uh, challenging within the industry is to try and to have, you know, things that are going to fill the needs of your recreational level cyclists through the ones that are obviously, uh, you know, do it in a, in a more hardcore scenario. So we sell apparel that would range anywhere from, you know, a basic $50 pair of shorts up to uh, bibs that are, you know, upwards of $500. So, you know, there's broad spectrum there. Um, things that would be as simple as baskets and bells for young riders that want to uh, accessorize their bikes as they ride around the neighborhood through stuff like, you know, $6,000 carbon wheel sets. So it's, it's, again, it's a pretty broad spectrum, but ultimately we try to do everything we can to uh, make sure that we have those things that are gonna facilitate the needs of, of everybody involved. And you have the gloves, and, and it looks like you have socks and shoes. Oh yeah, so gloves, shoes, um, you name it. Again, it doesn't really matter exactly how deep into cycling you wanna go, but we should have the things that uh, you know, should make it easy and fun for you when you wanna get out there and do some riding. Will you show us a few models? We'd love to show that to the viewers. Absolutely, we'd love to. So Craig, Tell, tell me about this bicycle. So this is one that would start at the higher level for the guys that are obviously getting pretty serious about cycling. This is a specific bike from a Swiss manufacturer called BMC. This is a carbon fiber road bike, one of which we call a team machine. Uh, things that kind of make this bike very special are that it's extremely lightweight. Um, it's very, very compliant, so it affords a very nice ride quality for the rider. Um, and really, I guess one of the you know, specific things about all road bikes is it wants to go very fast. Things that help it do that would be stuff like the electronic shift equipment that this particular bike uses. So as opposed to bikes in the past, this bike uses electric impulses to shift your chain around, which is some relatively new technology in the bicycle business, but ultimately something that we're going to see you know, more and more of moving forward. So you combine in uh, what is called DI2 from Shimano, which is again electronic shift equipment with a very lightweight carbon fiber frame. For that matter, very lightweight carbon fiber wheels. Uh, it makes for a bike that, uh, again, will allow that rider to go as fast as they might want to. And it looks like Chad, who's been gracious enough to help us today, he picked that up almost with one hand, it looks like it's so light. Yes, it is. That particular bike comes out of the box as it sits at sub-15 pounds. So it is uh, very easy to move around, certainly very easy to pedal, and you know becomes a great asset for the rider because the weight is so low. So the further, the farther, the more efficient you want to ride it, uh, the easier it becomes when you're able to save that kind of weight with the bike. And you got another model to talk to us about? Oh, we certainly do. We certainly do. Craig, what a great mountain bike. Yes, this is a bike from Cannondale called a Scalpel. So Cannondale has come out with a Scalpel a handful of years ago. They do a couple of different models of these. This particular model happens to be made from aluminum. They also do the same format in a carbon fiber model as well, which would be uh, just a bit more expensive. So there's a, a nice spectrum there as far as price points to facilitate the needs of uh, different levels of mountain bike riders out there. But uh, this is a dual suspension bike, so it has suspension in the rear as well as the front. 
The front suspension on this given bike is very unique uh, and is a proprietary piece from Cannondale that they call a lefty. So as you will notice, it only has one suspension leg versus the traditional two, which allows them to save a bunch of weight in comparison to a traditional dual crown or dual leg fork. Uh, and one in which that ultimately you know, gives you all the same kind of performance that you would expect out of a higher level performance mountain bike. Um, this particular bike uses hydraulic disc brakes. It's going to have a 27 speed drivetrain, so all kinds of shifting versatility and kind of all the bells and whistles that'll help you get down the trail in a very safe and uh, hopefully fun way. What a wonderful bike. Thank you so much. Craig, you didn't want to leave the ladies out, did you? No, we certainly did not. So this is a bike that has really spiked in popularity over the last handful of years. This is a bike that Trek calls a, an FX bike. Uh, we would call it more specifically a fitness bike. Uh, and the things about a fitness bike that have really kind of driven the overall popularity result in the wheel diameter is essentially the same as what a road bike would be. So it's the most efficient wheel size which makes it much easier to go wherever you need to go as far as the energy output of the rider to help propel the bike forward. But the big change as you would compare this to a traditional road bike is the position for the rider is much more upright and much more comfortable. So you get a lot of those same efficiencies that you get out of a road bike, but in a position for the rider that makes it easy when they want to ride around the neighborhood with the family, but still gives you plenty of performance for the days that you might want to take it out to White Rock Lake and perhaps do a lap or someplace like the Katy Trail. Um, so it really provides a very broad swath of applications depending on what that rider might want to achieve that day, regardless if it's riding around the neighborhood with the family or potentially going out for a 15 or 20 mile ride. This is so much fun learning about these bikes. I can't wait to see the next one. Absolutely. Craig, another great mountain bike. I recognize the name on this one, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the kind of bicycle that George, Pres former President George Bush uses. It most certainly is. Uh, President Bush is, uh, and has been, a uh, very serious mountain bike rider for many, many years, certainly during his time uh, in the White House. Um, now that he's back here in Texas, we get a chance to see him a little bit more often, and ultimately, uh, the president, you know, rides a bike that's very, very similar to this, which is a dual suspension track. This particular model happens to be what they call a Superfly 100, um, but uh, the president has his own version thereof, which, uh, you know, in that circumstance, you know, good to be the president, obviously. Craig, you know, just wandering around the store, we kind of entered the, um, the repair area, the get ready area. It's extensive. I guess you do everything here. Yes, we do. We service all makes and models. Um, we take a tremendous amount of pride in our service department. We you know, want to be able to you know, service anything that you know, might have originally come from a department store all the way through you know, what would be you know, the world's most expensive styles of bicycles, basically. We have uh, a tremendous staff you know, back in our service department, um, led by a young man named Chad Harvey. Um, and ultimately that in conjunction with uh, our normal staff people are the things that we really believe you know set us apart you know in uh, in bicycle retail and we chose to come to the one in Snyder Plaza today but you have other locations we do we do we have three other locations uh, our newest would be up in Allen which we celebrated our two-year anniversary up there a few months ago uh, we have a location that is in Flower Mound and one that is also in Coppell you are such a gracious host we can tell by talking with you, you love this business, you live this business, and you're so nice to let us come in, film the store, talk with you, get all the facts about bicycles, and it's just been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It, uh, we feel honored to uh, be able to uh, spend some time with you. Uh, we are very passionate about what we're doing around here. It's something that uh, we, we take a tremendous amount of pride and, and, and love what we're able to do, and, and hopefully that's something that uh, you'll find if you happen to uh, you know, come through our door one day. All the best. Thank you so much.